2016, will weather make this the year of extremes? Drought, famine, and flooding are affecting millions around the world. But it's El Nino that is catching the world by storm right now. El Nino is a natural warming cycle in the water of the Western Pacific Ocean that happens every few years. The system impacts rainfall patterns and temperatures around the world. And this year's El Nino is being called one of the strongest on record. El Nino has brought longer and more intense droughts to many parts of the world. It's been especially hard in Ethiopia. While the country has a long history of coping with extreme weather events, this drought is one of the worst in 50 years. Ethiopia is particularly susceptible to drought because of land degradation, erratic rainfall patterns, and temperature fluctuations. Over the next decades, climate change could worsen these conditions. In Ethiopia, the ones who suffer the most are the ones who live off the land. More than 80% of Ethiopians depend on agriculture to make a living. The two main rainy seasons have been poor or even absent, causing 90% crop loss in some areas. This all adds up to a potential human catastrophe. Millions of people could be left without enough food to feed their families and survive the next year. And there are other costs. Families are separated as members leave to find work elsewhere. Nearly half a million animals are at risk of dying. And there is an increased risk of disease due to lack of clean water and sanitation. This drought and other climate-related changes in Ethiopia hit the people who are struggling the most and may not be able to recover. As El Nino and the drought in Ethiopia continue to make headlines in 2016, changes in communities could make an extreme impact for the environment and the future of a country, especially during times of uncertainty.